Hey, um, I'm Linus, and I'm not Swedish, and today we're playing some more Civ 5. Now, in the last part, in case you missed it, we slept, um... We didn't, not slept in, like, sleep, but we slept Assyria in the face. We took, um... A lot of their cities. We took Nineveh, Assur, which is their capital, and Kartikulti, Nanorta. Um, I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but I don't really care. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we got a, uh, a lot of cities, and then we actually made a peace deal, and they gave me Corinth, which used to belong to the Greeks. Um, yeah, there was an option to give it back, but I didn't want to, so I'm keeping it for now. Um, and that's basically the, uh, the way things are right now. I am twice as big as any other Civ there is. I, basically, this whole continent belongs to me now. Uh, there's four Assyrian cities left, but I can take them easily if I want to. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna start moving my units around and take Athens if, you know, if somehow they ever annoy me again. I'm gonna take the shit out of Athens and I'm gonna keep it. So I'm just gonna calmly move all my artillery over there and other things I've got stacked over here. The Gatling gun. Aw, oh, crap. Okay, artillery. Go. Gatling gun. Go. Uh, so there you have it. That's pretty much the uh, the, the the world affairs. Uh, we won the um, the world's fair, uh, which gives me a buttload of uh, <clears throat> of extra culture. That's really nice. Um, so everything is good, pretty much. I think I uh, I am well on my way to victory. It's not like anyone really has a shot at, at taking it for me. So there you have it. Um, also, there's lots of pressure for my religion, pretty much everywhere on this continent. Uh, except for there, and there, and uh, maybe there. But aside from that, we're doing pretty well, I'd say. Um, so let's just let's just keep going and, and you know just just get that victory that we're going for. Oh, whatever, dude. It's not like you're still relevant anymore. He just got kicked back to like the second place. Uh, Elizabeth has just one unit left, I think, or something like that, crawling around. Um, I'm quite sure she doesn't have a city anymore, so... Not just quite sure, I'm absolutely positive. And I'm the the world's most most uh, lit literate person. That's all, also quite nice. Uh, let's move everybody around over here. I want to take Nimrod if for some reason the Assyrians think, Oh man, maybe we should declare war on this guy and show him what we got. And then I'm gonna, you know, just destroy him. Let's establish another trait route with, uh, let's see, we got that city. Uh, I can send food over there, production, and also a lot of, um, religious pressure, but they're already my religion, so that would not really be, uh, worth it. So Samarkand might be nice. I have a lot of pressure for my religion, so sending them to, uh, Samarkand. Let's just do that. I think it's on the other continent, so spreading my religion over there is probably a good idea. Uh, Harbor Bank Castle. Let's go with the castle. We're making lots and lots of castles and defensive buildings everywhere. Uh, because I actually got an ideological tenet, which gives me... Uh, wait, what is that? Oh, it's just a plantation. I guess they upgraded the, uh, or updated the, uh, the look of the improvement, but it looks great. I love it. I thought it was a manufactory at first, but it's not. Let's get you over there. And you over there. And there's lots and lots of, um... Antiquity sites as well that are just scattered around this territory. I think I got access to let's see one two There's one over there. So that's three uh, One that one's not mine yet, but I will get it. So it's one two three And then over here we got that one. So that's four and uh, Five and there's probably a sixth somewhere that maybe that no, that's one. I just said uh, I don't know, there's probably six somewhere out there, mates. Yeah, I guess it's that one. So, uh, we got a lot of, uh, oh, that one will be, hopefully, the sixth one. So, lots of antiquity sites, lots of things for me to do. Let's annex this city. Make me a frickin' courthouse. I want to own that city for good. And uh, we also have a now. Let's just destroy a boat. Let's just, you know, make sure that everybody realizes that we are... Uh, the number one sieve everywhere, both on the seas and not on the seas. Antonin Arriva likes me for destroying a barbarian, but yeah, we need to get a lot of archaeologists uh, going. Because I really, uh, let's see, how much is it to buy one? Let's get a great merchant, because I got a lot of faith. 
purchase a... Wait, you can't purchase an archaeologist? Are you kidding me? That's bullcrap. Okay. Um, so I guess we're just gonna use that great merchant to either, um, just get a load of money at once, or, um, we can make a, um, what's that called, like a trade house mansion thing, estate, I don't really know, but basically you can make this really nice improvement. Trade route established for some market, so they actually like me for taking their money from them and also spreading my religion. We got some aluminum, always good, let's get that boat out of there. Uh, replaceable parts will give us access to Great War Infantry or Biology. Uh, we'll give us stuff like hospitals and also oil, which is quite good, and also an additional trait route. And it leads to refrigeration, so we can make submarines and stadiums and hotels. Yep, uh, we need hotels, so let's just go Biology and after refrigeration. I don't know how you would need a refrigerator per se in a hotel. I've had hotel rooms where there was no refrigerator. So I don't really know how that is a must for it, but hey. Uh, whatever. Archaeologist. Let's get this party started and set it to a production focus. Screw gold. Nobody wants no stinking gold. It's a, a trade mission, and then always set him over there. He should be able to make an improvement. And I don't really uh, remember what it's called, but it's like a giant mansion, like a Batman mansion, and you get a bunch of money from it. Uh, so that's going to be quite good. And for now, I will just have all my units set up over here. Just, you know, if, if he ever talks shit about me, I will take uh, Nimrod and maybe that one. Just make sure, just, I will probably just lock down the entire continent, because he's got four more cities, and they'll have a uh, pretty terrible defense, so taking them should be a piece of cake. A piece of Assyrian cake. So that's basically the plan right now. F okay, 18 slots, so we got 15 great work slots available. Influential on no civilization that we need, but no worries. We're actually, um, let's take a look at that. Our culture victory, uh, swap great works, influence. Oh, look at that, medieval. Wait, you've got an industrial? Oh, that's, isn't that Chekhov? Yeah, okay. We could get rid of the uh, medieval industrial. Let's get rid of the... Um, that one and trade it with her, and that way we both get one of our own. Great works. Check off where to go, where check off go. Beads. Beads. I have lots of beads from the looks of it. Beads. Sumo wrestler. I don't well no, I have a sumo wrestler. Renaissance Portugal art. Uh, okay, the night watch, that's pretty cool. Rembrandt. Moby Dick. Where the hell did it go? Parthenon. Did I? Am I missing something here? What the heck? Where'd it go? It was a. Uh, oh, I didn't actually check the name, so it might actually be l d this one. Sumo wrestler. Portugal Renaissance. Let's just dump that somewhere up there. Oh, we don't have any room. Are you kidding me? Well, that's kind of dumb. So we got one in Porto. It's an England Renaissance art thing. Uh, good. Okay. Let's just, let's just leave it like this. I guess that's okay. Does anyone have any writing, though? I would like to get my hand... Oh, so it was writing. I got Renaissance writing from, uh... Moby Dick. It wasn't Moby Dick, was it? I thought I already... had that. England Renaissance, England Medieval... Portugal Industrial, Portugal Renaissance... Assyria Industrial. So I can get another piece of writing like that. Medieval. I need... C crap. Okay. Art that is not giving me anything is that one. Let's trade that for that and swap it. And that way we can put... Oh man, this is this is gonna get really confusing, but I think... Um... Let's see. I think I just got... Carthage, I think... What did I trade? I gave away something that was British for something that was Portuguese. But there's so many arts around. This is ridiculous. You know what? Screw it. I'm done with that. I'm not going to keep my eye on that every single second of my life. Um, let's get another um, cargo ship going. Another trait route. We still have slots, and as soon as we have a biology... 
We're gonna have an additional one, so we want to fill that up and make sure that I get enough monets. Let's actually gift that to Antonina Revo. Customs house, there we go. Let's make one of those right next to a Nineveh. Uh, just get, you know, it gives you two culture and five gold per turn, so that's a pretty nice improvement. I mean, they're making a farm, but screw farms, I don't really need those. I think my workers are making a road. So they're basically working on connecting everything. Oh, what? Antiquity site. Did I miss that one before? And there's one over there? There's a lot of them out there, okay. It's cool. Uh, frigate, you shall fire at that guy. Just kill him instantly. We got some connections going, that's always a good thing. There you go, just kill that dirty guy. Stupid barbarian. Got him. Make me a customs house, there you go. That's a good improvement, now can go, because they're pretty much outdated at this point. Sorry now, thanks for serving me well, but... Don't really need you anymore. Antonina Revo thanks me for killing their barbarians, that's uh, good, I guess. Braga can make another ship. Um, because we got two additional trade routes, so we can make two of uh, those. Nineveh, let's annex that city. Courthouse is still being made, it just takes forever and a half. Uh, courthouse, here you go. Let's just have those made, and then as soon as they're done, I will annex Assur and, um, and Corinth. We, they're still in resistance, but it's gonna take a couple of turns to make the courthouses, and, you know, when that's done, I should be able to, um, to annex them. Sedan desires aluminum. I already have aluminum. You idiot. I own aluminum. Okay, so we can no longer explore. We're, we're done. Uh, Vatican City is really scared of me, so let's ask for tribute. Give me your gold, sucker. Yes. I shall take it. Uh, let's go send an archaeologist down. To... Where? Here, I guess? Go get that one. That antiquity site might be uh, something Assyrian or Vatican. I don't really know. Uh, but we will find out. It can be anything. It can be stupid beads or it can be something that's good. Uh, London making me another archaeologist, I guess. A British archaeologist can never be a bad thing, can it? Make me another one. And Porto can make me a um, stock exchange. Because why the hell not? It's At this point, we're playing the waiting game. And we're just gonna wait until I fill up my uh, my tourism and my culture and stuff like that. So I should see if there's any um, social policies that give a bonus to tourism. Maybe a tenant? I don't really know. Uh, let's see. Aesthetics might be something touristy. Not really, but it will allow you to build the Uffizi. What does the Uffizi do? What does that do? I actually, I was in Florence like a week or two ago, or a week ago. Ooh, three works of art. That's actually not bad. One free great art. Oh, okay, so aesthetics will give me a slight boost. So we can make the Uffizi. We got some dope stuff, so let's get this party started. Let's get a trade route going with which will get me a butt buttload of money. Uh, Hippo Regis, Gates, Gades. Let's go with that one. Frigate. I'm actually gonna send the frigate back home and just sort of defend uh, the stuff I've got going on over there. Uh, archaeologist, go dig up some good stuff. Yes. Another trait route possibility, Utiqua. Boom, look at my money. Loads of money. Here we go. You fidzy. So yeah, actually, I was in Florence or uh, Firenze uh, last week, but we didn't get to go to the Uffizi because it was super busy in summertime, and you gotta pay ten euros to get inside. I mean, that's we were on sort of a budget vacation, so that's a lot of money to pay to get into a museum. Uh, sadly, we get another great writer. Oh yeah, Lisbon. Great work. Give me that. Seeing how sorrow eats you, defeats you. I'd rather write about laughing than crying, for laughter makes men human and courageous. Yep, so we got some writing. That's uh, probably gonna be... Crap, where is it? Where is it gonna be? It's probably gonna be in some... <clears throat> is that... No, that's Carthage. Beads. So where's the... I don't understand this. <clears throat> It is a word. Oh, it's a piece of writing, of course. 
Yep, that's the one. That's the one, yo. Uh, <clears throat> Portugal Industrial. Portugal Industrial. Boom! Theming bonus in your face. In London, we can get a theming bonus by a different era, different sieve. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's gonna be good. Another theming bonus for me. Um, so right now, I have a lot of theming bonuses, actually. There you go. That's another one right there. You know what? This is this is good. This is good for me. I like this. We got 55 tourism. Um, <clears throat> my uh, culture is actually spreading pretty much everywhere now. And especially in Carthage, we seem to be... Uh, in Poland as well, we seem to be growing a lot. Uh, that's good. Renaissance, medieval... I don't think we actually have access to any more theming bonuses in, like, special places, but maybe if we get... Ancient Era Antenna Revo... Whatever. Um... Okay, if I'm still earlier than this any over. So we, we could trade, potentially... Let me just make sure I get this correctly. For, uh, let's say, um... Oh, this is actually all giving me bonuses, so it wouldn't make sense, really, to trade it. We could actually trade those, but nobody's actually looking to get rid of, um, artifacts, so I guess we're just gonna have to, to, you know, roll with this. Uh, let's have this boat sort of defend, um, this area. Courthouse is still on the way. It's gonna take a little while, but, uh, it's gonna be, it, it will be worth it in the end, I think, to just get courthouses everywhere, because if not, they're occupied and they all get really sad and they start crying or whatever. Aluminum, so we got three over there, and then we got three over there. Oh man, upcoming session, biology, modern era, we get an extra spy. Roberto, no, Diogo is your new one, let's send that guy over to Carthage. Do I have anyone over there? Yeah, we do have someone over there. Um, <clears throat> let's send him over to Warsaw, I guess, as a... Nope, that's, this is stupid. Nope, spy. Move to the British. Oh, that's not possible. I forgot about that. This is... okay. Let's take a look at the amount of votes that we all have. So, I have seven. She has six. So, we already have a diplomat over there, I believe. Spy is a diplomat. Let's send someone over to the Polish... Polish peeps. And, let's see. We got this guy. Go to Poland War. So, it doesn't really matter where he goes. So let's send him to Krakow over there. Wait, no, I want to make you a diplomat. Diplomat, there you go. Diplomats are obviously, um, very helpful when you're trying to see what the votes are like. Oh my god. We got four oil over there. Then we got three oil over there. We have coal over there. Uh, we got four oil, and then we got somewhere else we have some more oil. This map is just... It's over there. It's just, but this is just one giant clusterfuck of resources, so it's gonna be pretty tough to see exactly what's happening. Natural heritage sites. Uh, natural wonders provide plus five culture. I don't actually have any of those, so that's not gonna help me just in the least. It's gonna be useless, but hey. Um, let's start work on the refrigeration so we can make some hotels. Which will give me a great um, amount of tourism, hopefully. Uh, let's see, York, make a zoo. The Uffizi is still on the way. It's taking quite a while to set that to production. And speed it up slightly. Well, maybe to default, that might... Seriously, that's not good. Okay, let's leave it at food, because it's only one turn extra. Uh, Lisbon, go make the Big Ben. And send your archaeologist over there. Seriously, we're gonna have to just waste one turn getting over that, over there. This is dumb. Okay. Go to Samarkand. Get me cash money. Uh, defend. It works for me. Whatever. Uh, choose. We can create an Assyrian artifact, so let's just go with that. Because I don't really want that culture. Let's, uh, boom. That's another two we got right there. It's an artifact, so it's an amulet. Now we could potentially... Oh, okay, so combining that is actually not a great idea. Um, but I can actually... Here it gives two, and there it gives three. So I, let's just put that in, um... In Lisbon. Just get me a little bit of extra... Extra tourism right there. Uh, there's another one over there. So we got one there, one there. And then down here, we've got... Hopefully soon we will get that one, or we're just gonna set one over there anyway. So it's one, two, and there's three. 
Um, four. Jesus Christ. Kill an English spy. Good work, dude. Kill those English spies. They have no business over here. Let's start training with Car Carthago Nova. Spread my influence over there. It's all good. Uh, London is producing another archaeologist who will be done very, very soon. Here. Oh, I forgive you. It happens. It happens. No worries. It's not like I'm a warmonger and I'm gonna kill you or anything. I'm totally cool uh, with the world right now. I'm not trying to pull any stuff. Come on, Ufidzi. I want me another great work of art. Here we go. Rifling's been stolen from London. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, so much for that. Uh, let's get a museum in London. Because that's going to give me access to some more uh, slots for great works of art. And let's just research that. Uh, or not research, but make an archaeological dig. So we got that, 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 that. Jesus Christ, there's still a lot to go here. Um, so I think tourism for me right now is kind of the way to go. It's a, I think it's a very interesting way to win the game. Um, I just hope I can pull it off really before I blast off into space. Because that's probably not super far off anymore as, you know, I'm already working on oil and things like that. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, theming bonuses. We, get, we pretty much have it all figured out. Yes, sir. London has a nice little theming bonus, so that's good for them. Let's get rid of the stuff in a certain and send it over to London and make it a little bit more of a powerhouse in terms of... Oh, wait, it doesn't have... As soon as it has a museum, I will actually combine the beads and these beads and just make a museum for war or something like that. Um, I'm going to end the video here because I've been going pretty long again. I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I assume that soon... Um, we're gonna have a lot of tourism. We already have 64. Um, the number two has 10. It's not good. That's not good for them. They have no ideology. They're basically sucking. Really, really sucking. And then our influence is actually spreading all across. Mostly Carthage and Poland and, uh, I don't really understand how the British still have a culture. Um, uh, but whatever. I guess we're working on that. What is that? Adjusted tourism output. Yeah, I'm I'm the best, so suck it. Um anyway, thanks for watching for the thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later.